Hey all, I did an earlier video on Slack and why I like Slack and now I wanted to take an opportunity to test out the Google version of Slack or what they bill themselves as um, the Google version of Slack which is Hangouts Chat. Um, I was able to get this up and running through my institution. I don't have a Google Suite account um, for my own personal Google account but my institution, um, one of the administrators got it up and running so I just found out that it was up and running, so we're going to take a little dive in and see what this looks like. So basically, it's directing me to go over to chat.google.com. It's going to first send me to my personal Gmail account, which, as I suggested, doesn't have, um, is not a Google Suite account. Um, but then if I click over to my institutional address, it's going to basically invite me into the system. So what we'll see is the typical onboarding for Google products, welcome to Hangouts Chat, um, new uh, look and tools to collaborate, make collaborating with your team easier. I'm going to hit next, make room for genius. So rooms are a new feature designed for teams. I can message people, share files, build a brilliant idea together. In the earlier video, I talked about Slack and why I like Slack, and it seems like uh, Google Chat or Hangouts Chat is following the same roadmap. They have different names for different things, and it also appears like the integration with Google Apps and Google Drive is a lot better than it is for Slack. Uh, so I'm gonna hit next, work smarter with bots. Uh, bots were a big prop part of Slack, um, so I can basically uh, assign tasks, schedule meetings, stuff like that. Um, I, in some of my uh, Slack instances, I would use a lot of bots, but basically it shows some of the integrations. So I'm gonna hit get started, uh, allow notifications. I'm going to uh, turn them, I'm gonna say not now. Uh, I don't really like to have a lot of things popping up on my screen, especially if I'm gonna go plug my laptop in uh, to a classroom or use it. So as this gets started, um, you can see that it's telling me to turn on desktop notifications. Uh, that's something that we saw in Slack as well, where if somebody asked me a question, it would pop up there. So if I start this off, it looks like the same kind of layout for Slack. I can see that I'm uh, my notification setting can be active or turned on, turned off. Uh, I can see that I am signed in here. Uh, here is the same sort of like grid of other apps and other spaces for Google tools. I can see Google Meet, which is basically like the video conferencing part of Hangouts that's still available. Um, I can give feedback, uh, so that's built in, that's pretty normal. And then if I go to settings, I can see that this seems like it's basic, uh, you know, sort of like general settings that we would normally find. Uh, for a lot of Google products. Nothing really interesting to add there. So add a room, uh, people, bots, stuff like that. So I'm gonna look around and see if I can browse rooms first. Uh, obviously no rooms are available right now because no one at my institution is apparently in this right now. I can click on it and see people. Uh, these are other colleagues and, and people that are uh, some students that are here. They are already connections in uh, Google. Um, so as soon as I click on that, that's bringing up their name so I can see uh, a couple colleagues uh, already listed. And these are people that I regularly email um, at my institution. I can send out a group message, a message, a bot, create a room, or browse rooms. So once again, browse rooms has nothing there. If I do a group message... Uh, search for people to message. I can say, uh, let's try my colleague Jack. So if I want to send him a message, and once again, this is looking a lot like Slack. So if I want to send Jack a message, I'll have my discussions listed over here. I'll also try my colleague Mendy. So it looks like Mendy's in there now, and she's active. And I can say, hey, Mendy, trying out hangouts chat and I can turn looks like this is a, a history so I can turn off and on the history I can I guess this is an upload file area 
I have Google Drive, I have a quick connection to Hangouts Meet, that's the video chat, I can add emoji. So if I click on this, I can add my little smile and send that off, just like Hangouts would have. Um, and it looks like this is like a send button, um, if I wanted to add that in. So if I want to hover over things, I can add a response or a reaction I can edit content um, and so I see like the direct messages uh, it looks like they have some of the predictive text built in that we'll see in other areas in terms of rooms uh, let's see if I can create a room we'll call this Ted you for my department so I'll create a room here so now I can add other people. So this is, um, it seems like what's happening with, Sl with Slack is you'll have an instance of Slack or what I'll call an instance of Slack. Um, that's the specific space where you run Slack, but then they'll also have uh, channels within it. So they're calling these things rooms as opposed to channels, same difference. Um, if I go to a specific channel, I can turn off no notifications. I'm looking for a space to change the settings. So I can add people and bots, uh, configure the web hooks for this. So I can add other content, uh, view members, add people and bots, rename this thing, configure the web hooks, start notifications, leave this room. Um, but I'm looking for a place to I'm trying to see if I can basically make a room, and I, I heard about the, the limitation to the, the members in the room. I'm trying to find a place where I can uh, make the room open and available. So if I search for rooms, I hit browse rooms, it looks like you have to have the specific name of it. So maybe that's the way that they, um, that's very interesting. It's hard, it's, it's hard to figure out how to set up the rooms and what rooms are public, what rooms are private. You have to invite everyone to every single room. Um, so I'm still trying to wrap my head around. It looks like these rooms, now I just created two rooms of the same uh, name. So I'm gonna continue to play with this. Um, I'm gonna continue to, all right, so it's it basically now, it took a little bit of time to create the room, but the room is now there. Um, I can try and add in people to this. I'm going to add Mendy to the room. I'm going to send that notification to her. I'm also, so it seems like most of the rooms start off as private and you have to invite them in. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'm going to have to keep exploring that. My hope was to have some free, like, open areas. Um, but then let's check out the bot structure. So I can create a bot. And so basically I can start to dig in and I'll, I'll share this link, but now I can create bots or link bots from other spaces um, to help with workflow. Um, so I'll explore that a little bit more and see what I can do with that. Um, but from the overview, it looks interesting. Um, I want to play more and see um, how long it'll take to integrate this. I want to see how long it'll take to uh, use this with Google Docs. Um, but from an initial response, a couple things uh, are, you know, make sense to me. One, it might be a really good alternative for Slack. Um, as I referenced in the Slack video, I don't really want to sign up students for that because I have concerns about a, yet another account. But with this, it seems like my students um, already are in this because they have a you know, a, an institutional credential or an institutional Google account. So that is of interest to me. It also just generally looks like Slack. Um, so this might be a good uh, use case scenario. Um, and it, from what I've read so far, it sounds like a lot of the Google Docs and Google Apps integrations work pretty well. So you could set it up so that um, as you make changes in Docs, things just work out the way that they're supposed to work out. So I... Uh, this, once again, is Hangouts Chat. Uh, this is Google's, quote-unquote, Slack competitor. 
Uh, I'm going to continue to play with it and see what it looks like. Um, this is still pretty brand new, so I'm interested to see uh, how well it works. And uh, interested to put it on my devices and, and see if it works well for my purposes. Uh, once again, I'm thinking about using this for research, for research projects, but then also for teaching and learning and use in my classes. So hopefully this initial look at Slack, uh, Hangouts chat, sorry, uh, was good for you. Um, as I keep exploring, please leave me messages. Let me know if there's other things that you'd like to know about or test out or things that I uh, should be using that I'm not. Maybe I got the rooms incorrect. But here's the, the first look at, for me, Hangouts chat. Thanks again.